Let's get one thing out of the way. Snoring is a perfectly normal human thing, but it's also kind of ridiculous. You lie down, close your eyes, drift into sweet unconsciousness, and suddenly, you're making lawnmower noises with your face. So what's going on? Why do we snore when we sleep? And more importantly, should we be worried about it? Let's unravel the science behind this nighttime soundtrack. First off, what exactly is snoring? Snoring is the sound of air getting squeezed through a partially blocked airway. When you sleep, especially during the deeper stages, the muscles in your throat, mouth, and tongue relax. Sometimes they relax a little too much. If that soft tissue partially collapses into your airway, it narrows the path for air to flow through. So when you breathe, the air causes the floppy tissues to vibrate, and that's the snore. It's basically your throat trying to whistle without permission. The narrower the airway, the louder the vibrations. That's why some people sound like a purring kitten, while others sound like a freight train coming through drywall. Snoring can also change depending on the stage of sleep you're in. During REM sleep, when your brain is most active and dreaming kicks in, your muscles go extra limp, which can increase snoring. That's why you might snore more during certain parts of the night. Interestingly, the sound of snoring varies not just in volume, but also in tone and rhythm. Doctors can often get early clues about sleep disorders just by listening to these variations. So why do only some people snore? It comes down to a mix of anatomy, habits, and health. Here are some of the top culprits. Nasal congestion. If your nose is stuffed, your body switches to mouth breathing, which increases the chance of snoring. Sleep position. People who sleep on their back are more likely to snore because gravity pulls the tongue and soft palate downward. Alcohol and sedatives. These relax your throat muscles even more than usual. Body weight. Extra tissue around the neck can put pressure on the airway. Age. As we get older, throat muscles lose tone. Think of it like your airway going out of shape. Anatomy. Some people naturally have a low, thick, soft palate, long uvula, or narrow throat, all of which makes snoring more likely. Some snoring is even genetic. If your parents were noisy sleepers, there's a decent chance you might be too. Studies suggest there's a hereditary component to airway structure and muscle tone that can influence your nighttime volume. Is snoring dangerous? Most of the time, snoring is harmless, just annoying, especially for whoever's stuck sharing a bed with you. But in some cases, it can be a sign of something more serious, like obstructive sleep apnea. Sleep apnea is a condition where your airway actually closes off for a few seconds during sleep. You stop stop breathing, your body panics, and you wake up briefly to gasp for air, often without realizing it. People with sleep apnea often snore loudly and irregularly, followed by moments of silence, choking, or gasping. Left untreated, sleep apnea can increase the risk of high blood pressure, heart disease, stroke, diabetes, and daytime exhaustion. And it doesn't just affect sleep. People with untreated sleep apnea may struggle with concentration, memory, and mood, often feeling groggy, anxious, or short-tempered without knowing why. So, if your snoring sounds like a chainsaw trying to start, or if your partner says you stop breathing in the night, it's worth getting checked. Why don't we wake ourselves up with the noise? Here's the weird part. Your brain actually tunes out your own snoring. During sleep, your auditory system stays slightly active, enough to wake you up if someone calls your name, but not enough to be bothered by familiar, repetitive sounds. This phenomenon is called habituation. Your brain knows the sound is coming from you, so it decides it's not a threat. But your partner's brain? Totally unprepared. That's why one person can sleep peacefully through their own snores, while the other lies awake plotting a pillow-based revenge fantasy. Some people, though, do wake themselves up, especially when snoring gets loud or irregular. These micro-arousals are brief and usually forgotten by morning, but they add up, fragmenting your sleep and reducing restfulness. So even if snoring doesn't wake you consciously, it might still be robbing you of deep, high-quality sleep. Can animals snore too? Yes. Dogs, cats, even some wild animals can snore. Bulldogs are famous for it. Pugs too. Any animal with a short snout and soft airway tissue is more prone to nighttime snuffling. There are even recordings of gorillas snoring in the wild, which makes sense. Just like us, their airway collapses slightly when they relax. Even horses can snore. In fact, any mammal that breathes and sleeps has the potential to snore. Though, fun fact, whales don't snore because they sleep with only half their brain at a time, and they always keep their blowhole above water. Can you stop snoring? Sometimes, yes. Sometimes, not completely. Here are a few fixes that work for many people. Change your sleep position. Sleeping on your side can reduce or eliminate snoring. Treat allergies or congestion. Clear airways equals quieter nights. Avoid alcohol and heavy meals before bed. These relax your airway muscles. Lose weight if needed. Less neck tissue means more space to breathe. Try nasal strips or a humidifier. These help with airflow and dryness. And if those don't work, a doctor might recommend a CPAP machine
machine or even minor surgery. CPAP stands for Continuous Positive Airway Pressure. Whatever the solution, the goal is the same. Better breathing, better sleep, better life. Snoring might sound funny, sometimes it is, but it's also your body giving you feedback about how you sleep, how you breathe, and how your airway is doing. So the next time someone nudges you awake for snoring, don't get mad. Just smile, roll over, and say, thank you for the free health screening. Then maybe try sleeping on your side. Do you snore? Know someone who does? What tricks have actually worked or failed hilariously? Let us know in the comments. And don't forget to like this video if your sleep has ever been interrupted by a rogue snorer. Subscribe to YX for more science that makes sense of the strange things we all do. Hit the bell so you never miss a bedtime mystery. See you and hear you in the next episode.